And I'm Jim Rohr. I'm a scientist at Space Space War System Center Pacific. Today we're going to talk about motion. What is motion, Jim? Well, I think maybe the simplest way to look at motion is how far you go in how much time. Hmm. So it's a comparison of distance over a certain amount of time. Yes. Huh. So it's like, like a ratio there. So let's just talk about different types of motion. What do you think the simplest kind of motion might be? Something that doesn't have a motion? Yeah, something that's not moving, its speed is zero. The neck, what would be the next simplest kind of motion? Something that doesn't change when it's moving? Yeah, it's moving at a constant speed. Hmm. Oh, we're using the word speed and we haven't defined it. What do you think speed means? Well. When I drive on the freeway, I look at my speedometer and I know it tells me the speed, which is 65 miles per hour, but I'm not quite sure what it, what else it tells me about speed. So let's talk about speedometers for a minute because it's, it's quite good for what we're talking about. So when you're in your car driving and you read that number, it says 60 miles per hour, what does that mean? Well, I think it tells me that's how fast I'm going at that moment. That's right. So at that moment, it tells you the speed, but does it tell you what direction you're going? So it's good to introduce another word here. Sometimes we use the word velocity and sometimes we use the word speed, but they're really different animals, but they're related. Velocity tells you speed, the magnitude, how fast you're moving, but it also tells you direction. So that direction might be how much north, how much south, how much high, all those kinds of things. So that's the difference between velocity and speed. So next we might want to talk a little bit about what causes motion. Well, I'm guessing if I put this rod down here, it's not necessarily moving. It's not going anywhere. Its speed is what? Its speed would be zero. Yes. But if I, if I start to push it or if I pull it, then I start to give it motion. Yes. So that takes a force. A force is like a push or a pull. But here's the thing that's sort of hard to understand. A force changes motion doesn't necessarily cause motion, but it changes motion. So if we have something that's not moving, and then it's moving, we had a change in motion. If we have something that's moving at 50 miles an hour, and then it's moving 60 miles an hour, it took a force to change the motion. But if something is moving at 50 miles an hour, and it stays at 50 miles an hour, so its speed is constant, does that take a force? keeps going at the same rate. Right, because we define a force as a change in motion. So if something's moving at the same speed and the same direction, it takes no force. But let me ask you this, what about on Earth? If I roll a ball, what happens? Well, it's going to roll, 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 roll until it slows down and then comes to a complete stop. But we just said that if there's no forces on something, its should speed should change constant, should stay constant. Where's the force on the ball? Where are the forces that make things stop on Earth? Well, I think it would be the force of the ground that's touching the ball. Absolutely right. The friction. Mm -hmm. If there was no friction, things would move forever and ever. And that's really hard for people to understand, especially in the old days because they were never out in space. And they never had the experience of throwing a ball and seeing it go on and on and on. So let me see if I understand. So um, when we're talking about motion and speed, we're talking about a certain distance over a certain amount of time. Yes. Now there's different types of motion, even to the point where there could be no motion at all on an object. Right. These motion, this motion is not caused by forces, but can be changed by forces. Yes. And it can give an object speed or it can give it velocity, right? Yes, you can now, look at the, it as in terms of speed, or if you want to also know the direction of the speed, you would call it velocity. So if I'm going 65 miles per hour, that would be speed. But if I'm going 65 miles per hour north, that would be velocity. Yes. I see. And now you talked about something slowing down due to this force called friction that works against an object. Well, what would happen if I was out in space where there is no friction? Let's say I was 
so far out in space that I wasn't close to any kind of large object to have any kind of gravitational pull against me, what would happen if I threw a ball out in space where there's no friction and there's no gravity? So students, what do you think would happen? 